Hello and welcome to Cycling with Ross. So, as the title suggests, this is me showing you ultimate night riding light setup, what I've used, well, what I have been using and what I'm going to be using. So, basically, let's jump into it. So, as a lot of you are aware, there'll be a link popping up here to do, I've been using this on my head, my exposure, Diablo, Mark 11, tap function, it's been brilliant been really good although when i crashed last week <coughs> this had run out of charge i thought it failed it's not it's run out of charge my mistake what we're gonna do except learn and make sure to charge the things up before they go out but yeah that's been brilliant and there'll be a link like i said um well it'll have been up so basically yeah i've been using that which has got 1750 lumens <coughs> incredibly bright and i've been using this a halfords light which is good, not been too bad. It's not as light, it's not as bright as I'd like it to be, but if you're just starting out doing night rides, very good investment from Alfred's. I think they retail for £50. Good light, well worth the money. However, I want more power, purely because I'm going faster downhill now. Um, I'm going a lot faster, and to be honest with you, last year really enjoyed the night rides. And just feel it was time to up my game so i have got an exposure six pack mark 11. now i think this is the latest one out so i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna show you what you get in the box it's not an unboxing but it is so this is how it's presented when you open it up without dropping it that you get a smart fast charger which i don't think you've had in any of the other models of them but you're getting this and to be fair last night this was at 59 percent and within the space of two hours it had fully charged it and it had also done its hour extra charge what it needs when you first get it. so if you're just getting one of these read the instructions it says plug it in leave it and all the messages come up on the back of there what it's doing and then even once it's 100 percent, you've got to leave it for another hour to i don't know what it does but basically it does does something you also get a usb charger now that's obviously not fast charge i believe with that it takes about nine hours to do you get a leaflet because exposure who make these lights they also do other parts um they also do ultimate parts i think they're called uh so they do bars stems seat posts drop posts drop post levers they actually do look pretty cool to be honest with you you get instructions and you also get some stickers which i'm going to put on the toolbox i'm going to start sticker bombing my macbook start personalize it a little bit i've had it for nearly three years now so it's time to start start personalize it so this is the light it's in normal power it is it runs at 3600 lumens on its most powerful setting and then on reflex mode it actually goes up to 5000 lumens and i believe when you turn it on it learns your ride i've not actually been out on a ride yet however i am going to go out on a ride tomorrow night um i can't stay any longer but i'm going to keep it tame however tomorrow night's ride you'll be seeing in a minute because i'm going to take this out and film it and uh, show you how it works you mount it on your bars you get this so that stays on the bars then you get a little pin in there which you pull down via that red thing here as you can see which locks it in place you have to tighten that up to three newton meters you also get a couple of inserts inside so you get one for 31 mil bars 31.3 mil bars and then you get these other ones inside there which you can't take out for 35 mil so you fit whichever one's relevant to your bar setup you get a button on the back which turns it on and it also tells you the little screen there you can see and it tells you how much power you've got how long you've got to run it on the current settings um i forgot what the uh the battery size is in it it'll be popping up here somewhere but uh yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fit this into my bars i'm not going to show you doing that because basically you just tighten it up to three newton meters done leave it on and you'll see it fitted on the bars tomorrow night. and yeah well in a minute you'll see it and you'll see how powerful it is i'll just show you it turning on i'll probably blind myself now so that's one there and then i don't know if you can see 
and it's not really picking it up but it tells you your charge what it's currently on and then there uh, you can see it's turned on behind me and that's 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 blinding me and it's wow how white do I look <laughs> anyway let's go and get fitted and let's get out on a ride after I've been to work etc etc I'll see you in the next video the next clip I'm off to bed goodbye so finally out on the road and it feels flipping amazing after being off it properly for the full week it's going to be a tame ride but at least I get to test this out for the review so there's only me and Phil left and this is a bad angle I can see but um, he didn't turn his lights on he's crashed and the six pack has smashed into his leg not mine is so it's just me and Phil this is Phil Crombie by the way from um, <laughs> this is Phil Crombie from my shout out video so yeah we're gonna go on a straight out of Haywood straight out of so this is my lights on full whack and uh, I've got to say I am impressed and I ain't doing that what Phil just did it's obviously my shoulder and I can use that for all the excuses all night now my shoulder but yeah the initial reaction to these lights is just incredible yeah they are a lot of money but we do this all year round and if it keeps you safe on the trails for me they're worth the money and to be fair it's a premium product and it'll last years and uh, as Phil was telling me before the customer service from exposure is brilliant and I've contacted them about my head torch however I do feel it's user error not product failure so I'm just out testing it tonight and I'll see how I get on if it goes off on me again then I'll send it back to them but uh, yeah like everything you get what you pay for yeah, so I don't know what you can see but this is a light and it's just dimmed itself I've just shaped the bars and this all like basically the light thinks it's moving fast and it goes into the reflex mode you see how it's gone up there to full whack that's just my one light it's incredible and then if I turn don't go down I turn my headlight on so that's my full power of light and yeah it's it is daylight incredible let's go he's flipping nuts so he's still said it's best to be rolled fast i've lost him up this way Yeah, Phil used to uh, build trails for one of his mates. Obviously, I'm just taking this easy here. First time on it, and also, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but yeah, my shoulder. Yeah, I'm going to walk through that. That was Dexter's trail. Mint. Right. I think you've all just been looking at the floor. <laughs> right. So that was a quick glimpse of my six pack exposure light. And after just one ride with it, I can say I'm mega impressed with it. Something I didn't say in the intro when I was showing you around the light. The reason it's called the six pack is because of the six Cree LED lights 
that are on the unit there. Also as well, it works, the reflex mode works on gyroscopic sensors inside. And then also, I don't know whether you can see, but these holes here that are around it, they actually pick up the wind to detect when you are actually going fast. Now, it did dim down when I was going uphill, when obviously it's like that position, it dimmed down enough for me to see where I was going. And then obviously when it's like that and it's going downhill, then it just went bang straight into the, the full beam. I was riding last night for around three hours and when I come home, I had 25% left on the battery, so it done really well. And I suspect as well, the more charge it gets, the better the battery's gonna be, the better the, better the battery's gonna be. There's loads of different settings on there, and I'm gonna test them out, see how they are, because you've got Reflex 3, Reflex 2, Reflex, there's, there's loads of different settings on there. It's got SOS mode. Yeah, it's, it's a proper good, high quality piece of kit. Expensive. If, like me, you've rode over winter in the dark nights before and you've been considering one of these, don't don't hesitate. Just buy it. I promise you, you will be impressed. Really, really impressed. Um, they do have a few They have uh, a few other different attachments with it. Um, I've still not fully worked my way around it, but over time I will do. There's an external battery you can get and a few other different things, but for now, that is more than enough. So my next video with that, which hopefully is going to be in, not next week, because on my ride, my ribs are twinging, etc., was in pain. So I'm not going to be going up Crompton Moor until they're right. My next ride is going to be up Crompton Moor with that, and I'm going to go and do the section where I crashed on the other week, and I'll show you where I crashed. Um, in the meantime, I have got, my next video is going to be new bike day. It's not a mountain bike. Um, but yeah, it's new bike day. Uh, that's going to be my next video. So if you want to see it, stick around, press that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel and you want to see how this is on further rides that I'm going to be doing, I will be riding all over winter. So this is going to get lots of use and I'm going to be taking it different places, different trails. Then again, press that subscribe button and stick around for the, the videos. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Have a good one and stay safe. Bye.